Have you ever wondered how companies like Apple, Amazon, or Tesla make investment decisions? Well, IRR is their secret weapon. The financial magic helps them determine whether a project is worth the green light or the red stop sign. But what is IRR exactly, and how does it work its magic? Stick around because in the next few minutes, we'll break it down in simple terms that even your grandma would understand. No fancy jargon, just straightforward insights that will make you the IRR expert at your next finance meeting. So, whether you're a budding entrepreneur, a curious student, or just someone who wants to decode the financial world, this video is your ticket to demystifying IRR. Let's dive in! So, what exactly is IRR and why should you care about it? Imagine you're planning to invest in a project or a business venture. You want to know if it's a good idea, financially speaking. That's where IRR comes into play. It helps you answer a crucial question. What's the rate of return I can expect from this investment? In other words, it tells you how juicy your financial pie will be at the end of the day. Now, let's break down the magic behind IRR. Remember our reference to companies like Apple and Tesla? They use IRR to decide everything from launching new products to building factories. Here's how it works. Step 1. Cash Flows It starts with projecting the future cash flows your project or investment will generate. These cash flows can be revenues, expenses, or any money in or out. Step 2. Discount Rate Next, you need a discount rate. This is like your hurdle rate. Think of it as the minimum rate of return you expect from your investment. It's typically based on the cost of capital or what you could earn in a similar low-risk investment. Step 3. Crunching the numbers Now, we start calculating. You discount each of those future cash flows back to the present day using the discount rate. This is where the time value of money comes into play. A dollar today is worth more than a dollar tomorrow. Step 4. Sum it up After discounting all those future cash flows, you sum them up. This gives you the net present value or NPV of your investment. NPV tells you how much your investment is worth in today's dollars. If NPV is positive, it means your investment is expected to generate more money than it costs, which is a good sign. Step 5. The IRR Twist Now, this is where IRR enters the scene. While NPV tells you how much money you'll make in today's dollars, IRR means the rate of return you'll earn on your investment. It's the magic discount rate that makes your project's NPV exactly zero. But why is IRR so powerful? Well, it helps you compare investments with different cash flow patterns. Imagine you're considering two projects. Project AI, which generates steady cash flows year after year. And Project Solar, which produces a big chunk of cash in the distant future. IRR levels the playing field by considering when those cash flows come in. Real world example. Let's say you're an investor. You've got $1,000 to put into either Project AI or Project Solar. Project AI promises a 10% annual return for 5 years. On the other hand, Project Solar promises a whopping 50% return, but you'll have to wait 10 years to see a dime. Using IRR, you'd find that Project AI has an IRR of 10%, which is the same as the promised annual return. Project B has a higher return. It also has a higher IRR of 50%. So, IRR helps you see that Project B is the more attractive option because it offers a higher return for the longer wait. But is IRR foolproof? Not quite. It has its quirks. For instance, it assumes that you can reinvest your earnings at the same IRR. In reality, finding investments with consistently high returns can be challenging. Also, IRR needs to consider the project's scale. A smaller project with a higher IRR might not be as attractive as a larger one with a lower IRR. So, when should you use IRR? 
IRR shines when you compare projects with similar risks and want to understand the potential return on your investment. It's a valuable tool, but like any tool, it's most beneficial when used wisely. To sum it up, IRR is your financial crystal ball. It helps you predict the future financial performance of your investments. Armed with this knowledge, you can make smarter financial decisions, whether you're a business leader or an individual investor. So there you have it folks, internal rate of return demystified, simplified, and handed to you on a silver platter. Now that you're equipped with this financial superpower, think about how it can shape your financial future. But wait, before we go, we want to hear from you. What's the most intriguing investment scenario you've come across that you'd like us to break down in a future video? Share it in the comments below and let's continue unraveling the mysteries of finance together. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the Counting Coins YouTube channel. Thank you for tuning in and until next time, keep counting those coins wisely.